Today I'm going to show you how to create a reggae organ bubble sound using Native Instruments Vintage Organs. So let's open up a new track. We're going to open up an instrument track, choose stereo, hit create. Let's name our track to say organ bubble. And we're going to choose contact. Scroll down to vintage organs. And you have a menu here. Let's choose the default and let's just choose the first organ. Let's record a little bit of that and we can mess with the organ sounds. So here we got our recorded track, and what we're going to do is just loop that. And let's mute the click. So we got our recorded organ bubble, and we're using the default sound uh, from the Tone Wheel Organ B3 preset. So here I'm going to show you the settings that I like to use that I think sounds good. Um, obviously for different songs, you'll want to use different settings to fit the vibe of the song. Um, but I usually start off with a setting similar to the one I'll show you here. So very easy with the drawbars. I just pull down this 16 foot drawbar and we'll just choose upper so that upper will control the entire range of the keyboard. As far as the percussion sound, so let's take a look at what that did. Now for my sound, I like to take off the percussion sound. So let's do that. And it's sounding pretty good there. Um, sometimes I like to add in a little bit of these draw bars just to add in that higher pitch to the sound. So let's just do one of that. Um, and then that's basically the sound that I like to start off with and it works for a lot of things. Uh, you can mess with the reverb can make it sound super dubby. I typically leave it at the default. For air, uh, you can see what that sounds like. So it just captures a little bit more of the room around the cabinet. As far as rotor, you do want to leave that on because once you turn it off, the sound basically just dies. So let's take a listen to that. It could work for some songs, but I like it with the rotor on. Now as far as rotor speed, this is a fast rotor speed. This is a slow rotor speed. It's a very minor uh, change to the sound, but it does do something. So especially when you're hitting those high notes, when you're holding them out. So like if you're doing, let me turn on my keyboard. So when you're doing high stuff like that, the, the fast, rotor really pops out at you. So you can see how there's more uh, that vibrato sound. Um, so definitely it's up to you how you want to uh, have it fit in your mix. But yeah, basically this is kind of the settings that I like to use. So I'm going to sh show you guys one more trick um, let's say that you guys don't have 
the contact package, you don't have vintage organs, and you know, you want a decent bubble sound in your song. One trick that you could use is the sine wave trick, which doesn't sound good on its own, but within a dense mix, it, it actually sounds pretty good. So I have a preset here called Shane Organ, and all it is is a mono sine wave. Let's listen to that sound. So it's a very super low type of bubble feel. It's kind of like you're taking the organ, cutting out all of the highs, um, and just getting that beef uh, bubble sound. So let's record a little bit of that. All right, let's loop that. And on its own, you know, you can tell it's not an organ, but within the mix, within, you know, a full band song, um, it actually really sounds good. So if you guys haven't tried out that sine wave trick, uh, try it out for yourself. And, you know, for you producers, engineers out there that don't have, you know, like an organ plugin, such as a contact one, um, and all you have is just a basic plugins that come in with Pro Tools, you know, slap on expand two, choose your mono sine wave, go to basic and it is right here. Choose mono sine wave. You're going to, you can just stay on the easy tab here. The main key is adjusting your cutoff, your attack time. So let's mess around with these settings so that you guys can get a general idea of what it does. So for attack time, let's take a listen to that, let's mess with it. And let me just play this uh, little loop. So by turning up the attack, you're softening um, that attack time. It's not a super staccato sound. I want to mellow that out a little bit. Your release. You don't want your release too long because, yeah, it's not really the sound that you want for, for an organ bubble. If you go too short, it just sounds super artificial. Um, and then your cutoff. Uh, a sine wave is already, um, by default, fairly round, um, but you just kind of want to cut off, you know, a little bit more of the highs to get that deep bubble sound. So that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, subscribe to my channel because I'm hoping to create more of these videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.